Tibetan quartz. You know, and this is really interesting because one of the things um, that we talk a lot about in the crystal community, uh, for those of us who work a lot with crystals, is the crystal's provenance or source, uh, where it came from. Um, I like to use the term terroir, terroir, uh, uh, terroir, did I say that right, terroir? Yes, um, um, which is a French term and it's usually applied in uh, viticulture, um, in wine culture, which is about, uh, you know, the the land and how the land affects the flavor of the wine. Well, the land land also affects oftentimes the energy of a crystal. Um, sometimes people work with that really specifically, sometimes they don't. Admittedly, when um, I'm doing crystal healing work and when I'm training my crystal healing work, we're working specifically with uh, the frequencies and the consciousness of uh, a crystal. Like for instance, rhodonite for someone who's recovering um, from heartbreak or who's going through some kind of detox. Um, but there are definitely times, especially in channeling, in mystical work, um, um, and, and other uh, transformational or healing works with crystals, where the energy of the land and the crystal's provenance and source can really affect the energy of the crystal. And I would certainly say that's true of Tibetan quartz because uh, Tibet, I haven't been there, uh, but my uh, understanding is it's just such a magical and deeply, deeply spiritual uh, land and, and a land that's such an incredible blessing um, on this planet. So, uh, let me just hit the little button there so we see where we're at in terms of time. And hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for your love and your hearts. I'm really happy to be back here. And if you take a look, you'll see this is, where's the camera? There we go. Um, this is pretty special. It's a double terminated uh, Tibetan quartz uh, uh, with that, that um, you know, sort of black coloring to it. It almost kind of looks like a smoking quartz um, from the inclusions in it. So anyway, let's see what comes from uh, this crystal channeling today. So channeling Tibetan quartz, sometimes called Tibetan black quartz, double term, and whenever a crystal is double terminated, it means energy is going out through both sides. You can also, in, in my crystal healing, I, I teach how you can run energy through, um, which can help to clear blockages and boost healing chi and other things. Oh, oh uh, yeah, it just really feeling, you know, and it's interesting, if any of you know what I'm talking about, like if you've ever ridden a roller coaster or something like that, and you know, as the roller coaster goes down, your stomach just kind of like drops or lifts or whatever. I felt that really powerfully, and to be totally honest, I felt a little nauseous too. Um, this is a really, really high, high frequency crystal, uh, and I probably should have eaten something a little grounding, like maybe some sweet potato or something before doing this channeling, but I'm just feeling like my whole body, I don't think I'm like physically vibrating, but it feels like I'm vibrating, and any of you who are, are clairvoyant, you may see uh, the energy coming off my hands, coming off my aura right now. It's it's just super, super, super high. Like everything feels like it's it's this um, in my body right now, in my aura. I'm definitely feeling also, it's almost kind of like a vortex or spiraling energy. Um, I don't interpret it as Kundalini, uh, uh, but you know, that kind of feeling just like, just kind of corkscrewing up through my body, all the way up through the top of my head, through my crown chakra. It's definitely starting down somewhere around the root sacral area. I'm starting to get chills now. Um, and so one of the first things that I'm getting, one of the things, what it's telling me, what it's doing with my energy field, I have a little bit of a scolding here, but, but not really, because there's no kind of emotional tone to it. But you know, I've been off for a month, I've been in the garden, I've been digging, I've been planting things, I've been doing all this stuff, and admittedly, I've been... <coughs> some blockage clearing, a little uh, lazy, uh, not with my spiritual practice in terms of my meditation or prayer work, but definitely in terms of like shielding energy. I've been doing clearing, but not so much shielding because I'm just out in nature and was kind of 
off uh, you know online connections anyway so uh, the the point is what what I what I received is the first very first thing it started doing was it started clearing me off clearing off my aura that's the vibrating you know that I was feeling clearing off my aura but also clearing and and releasing and transmuting into light and higher frequency energy any kind of lower sort of stagnant energy that's um, in my body not so much in terms of like physical lower energy because I've been eating really Really, really clean like plants and stuff uh, uh, but definitely just releasing a bunch of stuff um, for any of you who felt like oh my god July was a month man like really heavy all the eclipses and you know mercury retrograde and all that kind of action uh, you may feel though since you've come through there that it was actually a really powerful time of transformation oh my god i just feel like i'm floating all over the place um you know this powerful time of transformation where all of a sudden maybe your paradigm has shifted. maybe you feel different you know maybe you feel like there's old stuff that's clearing out and being released uh, this tibetan quartz is really powerfully it's almost like um you know an etheric vortex or rotorooter that's just clearing out all this lower harmful energy um, 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 and, and I'm really like my body just feels so light. I feel like I'm floating. Like I feel like I've just lost, you know, a, a ton of density. And I'm a big girl, as you can tell. So that's that's a big deal. Um, um, but yeah, and I just feel like I also like as I as I tune into how I'm feeling, I feel like you know, the barriers between myself and the energy fields that are around me, the energy in this space, even the energy of different veils, I feel like those barriers are just they're dissolving, they're clearing. Like I feel really, really connected to all of the energy around me, to all of, you know, the realities and everything around me. And then, you know, at the same time, I'm seeing this incredible sphere of light or orb of light. It looks a little egg shaped that's around me because the, the frequency of this energy is so high. It's so strong. And of course it's got that, 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 um, I want to say dark color quality, but I don't mean energetically dark. I mean like just the actual color, you know, that smokiness, that the, the blackness that's, you know, uh, included in this crystal. I feel like it's just, it's really creating a filter, but also creating um, like a, like a, a force field around me, like nothing darker can penetrate. So it's like, I can move through these energies. I can move through these different realms and everything else and just feel really protected and really connected and very, very connected oh my God, the chills, very connected to the wisdom of source, the wisdom of light. It's almost like you've just kind of you're holding this, like you just merge with the universe. And I'm being told part of this too is this double terminated, the energy going in either direction, the energy moving through is having that same effect on me. My energy is going in both directions. My energy is moving through um, and around and just... Um, really kind of this powerful transformative crystal and I feel like the energy is starting to come down now that the, the channeling is starting to wrap up but there's this final bit of guidance uh, for those of you out there who feel like you've you've had a powerful shift and you just need to shake off the old skin you know spiritually mentally emotionally physically shake off that whole skin but also for any of you who feel like you need to just completely shake out of any kind of lower state that you might be in which is totally okay uh, you know we're allowed to to be in those states we're allowed to experience everything uh, 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 but again this is a crystal that just kind of powerly powerfully shifts that so um, that's the channeling uh, thank you so much everyone for for joining uh, joining me on this incredibly powerful uh, Tibetan quartz and you know this this beautiful double term quartz has just been sitting on my shelf like uh, uh, for years you know I work with it on and off but just all of a sudden for the first uh, channeling coming back when I was was looking at all my my crystals my crystal allies my you know my crystal uh, 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 friends um, this immediately was like boom this is the one that you channel for the first time coming back so I hope that was of service to you guys I hope you either learned something or experienced something um, and of course I will be back same time next week a bit earlier uh, and again for any of you who want the um, free recording of the full moon uh, journey that I channeled today uh, hit the link in my description or in my bio and uh, sign up for my newsletter and if you miss it because my newsletter is going out at about 3 p.m. today uh, you can email my office and we'll see if we can send it to you so thanks so much guys have a great day bye